exact differential equations. Now, prior to this topic, we have discussed and presented examples on equations with homogeneous coefficients. Now, for exact differential equations, we need to, to do a certain check also before we proceed to the solution of this equation. But unlike equations with homogeneous coefficients, exact differential equations cannot be identified by inspection. So there is a certain mathematical checking and you need to satisfy a certain condition before we can determine that the differential equation we are solving is an exact differential equation. So let us now discuss what is that mathematical check and the condition that we need to satisfy in order to determine the exactness of a differential equation. Now this topic is on page 32 of our book. Now considering an equation f in x and y equal to c. Okay, so the function f has two variables x and y. Now if we differentiate this equation, then obviously the right side of this equation is zero because the differential of a constant is zero. So we have now the differential of f equal to zero. Now if we recall the standard form of a first order differential equation mdx plus ndy equal to zero and if the differential of f follows the form mdx plus ndy then mdx plus ndy equal to zero is an exact differential equation of this function f and x and y equal to c So if you differentiate this equation and you will arrive at this differential equation then again this differential equation is an exact differential equation of this function. So if you are dealing with this exact differential equation and you, you are going to find a general solution of this exact differential equation then you will arrive at this answer f and x and y equal to c. So I hope you have now an understanding of what an exact differential equation is. Now moving forward, uh, going back to the mdx plus ndy form, we have the differential of f is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x dx plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y dy. Now it follows that the partial derivative of f with respect to x is our m and the partial derivative of f with respect to y is our n. Okay? Now why, why do we have partial derivative here? Now it's because f contains two variables so we cannot uh, get the derivative but rather the partial derivative. Okay, so we do partial differentiation if we are dealing with a function having two or more variables. Now, if we differentiate m with respect to y and if we differentiate n with respect to x, it's just like getting the second derivative of f. Now, we have to remember that the function f that we are dealing in this equation is the same, okay? Now, for, for the partial derivative of m with respect to y, it's just like getting the second derivative of f with respect to y because the first derivative of f was with respect to x. And likewise, the partial derivative of n with respect to x is just like getting the second derivative of f with respect to x because the first uh, 
differentiation was with respect to y. Now, if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x, then the differential equation that you are trying to solve is an exact differential equation. So you need to perform this check and if this is equal then you can now proceed with the solution because you have satisfied the condition of an exact differential equation. So actually this is the first part of your solution. You have to show that this is satisfied. Okay. Now for our first example uh, that will be discussed on the next video. So thank you and good day.